Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so it's my turn to go ahead and weigh in on the bishop that got uh, this video uh, floating around where he's laying down on these uh, men in the ordination service. Now I'm not going to expound really on the act itself or uh, what he did because I don't feel it's necessary uh, and I really think that y'all just need to leave him alone that's what I feel about it and here's why I say that see because he ain't doing nothing that ain't already been done now he, what he did was a little bit more extensive a little bit more blatant but it ain't no different than what's already being done in a lot of these what they call churches. Let me explain myself. You see, I think this is a very intelligent man and what he's doing is building an empire. And so I don't think that he uh, intentionally will do anything to bring a reproach or a negative light on his ministry. Because he is literally uh, building an empire. Um, he owns a network. And um, he's got a lot of people that are now on his network. A lot of, you know, well-known ministries you will find on his network. So uh, for him to do something that uh, deliberately would bring some sort of reproach, uh, I think is uh, not what he had in mind. Therefore, I say, I don't think it was a move of um, anything relating to homosexuality. Okay, so here's what I want to say. Now, whether he gay or not, I don't know. I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me one way or the other. But what I'm saying is the action that he uh, did is no different than what's been happening all along. Now let me explain. So have you ever been to a movie and seen maybe somebody kissing or passionately, you know, holding each other or, you know, on the verge of making love or even making love on that movie? Now I don't know about any of you, but you know, in the times that I have seen that, you know, uh, I want to get a little fan and fan myself, you know, get to twitching and get a little bit uncomfortable. Let me tell you why, because it arouses something that is in me. Once again, I don't know about you, but I like to kiss. I like to hug and make love and things of this nature because I do have a husband, a 23 years worth of one. All right. And so that, and even if you don't have a husband or a wife, you're not married, we are, uh, as human beings, uh, we are sexual in nature. Let's keep it real and keep it where the rubber meets the road. And so, to be aroused is a natural thing. Especially when you see something that triggers something that is already in you. So let's get back to the bishop. You see, I don't believe that the bishop performed that ceremony and did that move by laying on those men uh, in a way to, or, 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 or as a manifestation of being gay. I believe with my whole heart, soul, and mind that he did it um, as a manifestation of ex uh, um, power. As a manifestation of his position of power. Okay, I'm going to try to bring this together as best as I can, all right? Now, I said that they've been doing this in church, in these churches, all along. Here's what's more blatant. 
So you see, you go to YouTube. Just go to YouTube. Turn on some of these praise breaks, okay? You'll see some of these people getting all touchy and feely with one another. I just made a video about it a few months ago. People getting all touchy and feely. You know, and some of these people in these prayer lines where, you know, these women will come up and they'll touch them all on their breast area and all in the stomach area and rub all on them and get all close to their ear and start speaking and sweating all next to them. You see, it's the same thing. And you know, it's see, it appeals to the flesh. Just like that movie where you see it, it appeals to your flesh. It appeals to something that is already in you. Now that woman or that man that is praying for you on a prayer line or, you know, got rubbing all on you and stroking you everywhere, these people don't want you for sex. They don't want you, uh, um, or they don't, are not necessarily doing these things because they're gay. They're doing these things again because of power. And let me tell you why. You see, by the time you get done praying for me, stroking me all over my chest and my belly, telling me all these things in my ears, sweating all over me, putting cloths and towels all over me, knocking me all on the ground, singing all these songs that sound like angels have descended from heaven, by the time you get done with all this glorious uh, uh, presentation, and you got my tears flowing, and you got my emotions confused and out of whack, by the time you get ready to say, now is offering time, you see, I have nothing to restrain me. I have nothing to discern uh, how much I shall give, or even if I shall give at all. Because you have broken down something in my flesh, something that triggered my flesh, something that is appealing to my flesh that is, yes, by the way, very sexual in nature. And so now you want my money. I am not going to question you. I am not going to say, now, wait a minute now. What you going to do if I turn over 10% of my income to you? What you going to do with my offering? What you going to do with my first few? I ain't going to say nothing like that. Because you have broken me down because you have appealed so much to my flesh and to that sensual side of me that I can't do anything but surrender to your request. And so, yes, I said, while the bishop, what he did was over the top. You see, you've got to look at where he is in this thing. He ain't no little Rudy Poop little stove front preacher this man has a network this man is working on getting people to collaborate with him and side with him and 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 and, and uh and and hear him and 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 catch this vision and and all of these things he is working on getting uh an army uh troops of people that look up to him <coughs> And so, the manifestation and what he going to pull out of his bag of tricks is going to be a lot, like I say, more blatant than the others, than what we have seen up to this point. Now, that's just my, my take on it. And so, again, I don't, I don't think, I don't think personally it was a, a gay thing. I think it was a power thing. And it's been done all along. It's done <clears throat> all the time. See, here's the thing about it. These people that's touching on, praying on, and, and feeling on, uh, they're not going to take none of y'all to the hotel room. Because they don't want you for that. But they want you to think that they want you or that they have a certain investment in you that is uh, 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 almost like a, a, a relationship that is enmeshed. Not necessarily, uh, not necessarily a sexual relationship, but a, a relationship that is out of whack with the enmeshment. You see, I, 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 I will think a certain thing if you are saying all these wonderful things to me and you're touching all over me and feeling all over me and you're telling, you're convincing me that 
that you feel a certain way about me. And because you have presented it in such a way that it is so fleshly and so sensual, um, I'm going to buy into what you're saying and give you whatever you're asking of me. But you don't want to take me to the hotel. You don't want me in that way. You see, these people are very discreet. It takes a lot for them to get caught. You know, like Brother Eddie Long. It took a lot. It ain't no telling how many years he was doing uh, what he was doing. If he did it, I don't know, allege. You know, it, it, it ain't no telling how many years that he was taking trips with boys and stuff before he actually got caught. These people are very discreet with the actual sexuality and things of that nature. See, that's not what they're, uh, after the, the general population of their congregations, that's not what they're after. They're after the power. And it's, um, you see, we, sh we should have been um, outraged a long time ago at this sort of uh, fleshly, sensual activity. Not because it was gay looking, but because it's, it's for the purpose of power. It's for the purpose of putting people under a spell. It's for the purpose of dumbing people down. It's for the uh, purpose of getting whatever they want out of individuals so that they can build their own personal private kingdoms on the earth. Here's what I want to say. Um is that this bishop is not in a class by himself. And it is going on, uh, it, might I say, hot and heavy <laughs> all over what we call the church world and the body of Christ. You know, and it, 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 <laughs> you know I, I mean, it, don't get me wrong. It, I know it looked gay. I know that. But I just want to uh, really get down to what I believe it's all about. And so that we don't have to just stop right there at that bishop. We can take a, a critical look at a whole bunch of them that are operating in the same manner. Although may, uh, you know, not as blatant, although not as uh, out there, but they're... they're wanting to accomplish and achieve the same goal as this bishop. Power and control over the lives of people and ultimately at the end of the day for your money. For your devotion. For your loyalty. For your time. For your following. And see by the time you do all that to a man, to an individual, what time do you really have left for God? Thank you all so much for tuning in and be blessed.